Hello, and welcome to Watch Me Play, a game about shows. I'm your host, Chester. Today we're playing Sister's Little Helper, a story about a girl who just can't sleep without a spliff and a bedtime story. You poor young teenage punks, what will you ever do to cope? Let's see if we can help you get through your week without being too stressed out by the mundanity of angst. Monday. Huh. <sighs> All right, well, we all know what bored teenagers do. Apparently they break cigarettes. Wrap that shit up all fancy. Don't know what the hell they're doing. Why, this is, this is not a... Role models. I ain't gonna tell you what that part's for. Wraps it up there. All right, let's help our our sister here. See if she can get to sleep. This is an independent game created by a dude for a um, a group thing. More information in the description. Ah, at last. I've waited for this moment all day long. I wonder what bedtime story will sound like today. Let's see. This is the story of a story. A very good story. But a very special story, too. Because once heard, this story can only be told once, and then disappears from your memory. There are many stories about this story. The most amazing is probably this one. The Silent Storyteller. The Silent Storyteller was the most famous storyteller in town. Every day at noon, you can find him sitting in on the same old stump in the marketplace, ready to tell a story. But he never did. Surprisingly, there always was a big crowd around him. It's because it was known that the silent storyteller once heard the famous one-time story. Nobody wanted to miss that unique moment when he would decide to tell it. This moment seemed to happen on a hot summer day. The silent storyteller opened his mouth and said, This is the story of a story. The crowd opened their eyes wide and stood quiet. A very good story, but a very special story too. Because once heard, this story can only be told once and then disappears from your memory. Today, I wanted to tell you that story, but because I wanted to do it right, I told me the story in my head first and it flew away. But I'm still able to tell you some excellent knock-knock jokes. The silent storyteller quiet. He died. Quite painfully. The end. Good night. It's Tuesday. Don't try this at home. This isn't to be emulated, just learned upon. Learn from it. Here are the lessons. Betty, bye.
And that was another tedious day doing nothing. I hope the night will be better. What am I saying? Of course it will be. Because tonight's story is going to be amazing. This is a story of Gus the Astronaut. Or the Cosmonaut. Or the Spatianaut. The Anywhere But Here or Not. The Whatever Not. He was sent into space two years ago. Just because some countries got too much money and preferred wasting it on spaceships and sharing it. Of course, he wasn't sent alone. There were nine when they left Earth. But he ate them all. That's right. He ate them. He had no choice. Oh, well, he did have one choice. Eat or be eaten. I probably would have done the same. I wonder what human flesh tastes like. I don't even know if it's red or white meat. Black people taste the same than white ones? That's racist. Should ask Gus. Hey, whatever or not, what does human flesh taste like? I would say it tastes like guilt. Oh well, what does guilt taste like? Ah, a bit like fried chicken wings on a Friday. Or ham sandwich during Ramadan. Yummy. Can I ask you a question too? Go on. Is this supposed to be a story? Oh, whatever. As long as it makes me asleep. Does it work? Oh boy, you have no idea. Now I'm gonna dream of fried chicken. Sounds neat. Good night. Thank you. Good luck. But you know, I'll probably be dead by tomorrow morning. Sorry to hear that. It was nice meeting you. Good night, Tuesday. It was a fun day. Wednesday. Back to the grind. I have no idea what's going on here. Just some lines on the screen, honestly. Until bedtime. Hey kids, do you know what time it is? It's bedtime story time. What do you mean redundant? Screw you, you're just a kid. You're not even supposed to use words like redundant. Knock knock. Who's there? Knock knock. Seriously, who's there? Door crashes. Suddenly, three firemen break into the flat, go through Michelle, and gather around a dead body. At this very moment, Michelle realized that she died two weeks ago, turned into a ghost. Nobody would ever hear her again. Our sister, apparently the sister's name is Michelle. Good night. Hello, Thursday. Well, that was different. Didn't expect that our Thursday night would go this, this way, but... Who am I kidding?
Well, we've learned that the sister's name is Michelle and that she, uh, has got some shit going on. Nightcap. She's going to take this angst to the bed with me. Hi, it's me. Talking to myself again. Hopefully it only happens at night. So there's nothing to worry about, right? Right? This is the story of a girl named Chloe. Hey, that's me. I thought her name was Michelle. She's a very nice girl, but she spends every night alone because she hates everybody. Expect her sister Amy, or except... It's a lot of typos, I'm sorry. Uh, she only just likes her. But today, it's going to change. Because today, she'll be bitten by a mutant mosquito. And we'll become Mosquito Girl. Queen Mosquito? Mosky Girl? Mosquito. And she'll use her new abilities. Let's take a change. Let's save some lives. As a mosquito. She'll suck blood from bad people. Like bankers and real estate agents. Give it back to the ones who really need it. Like anemics or leukemics. They would call her Mosquita, the super nurse. I hope somebody will make a comic about this. Good night. Friday. Start to get the hang of this stuff after a little while. You know, that boring teenage rituals. Wish there was a better way. Whoa, this joint really stunned me. Maybe I should skip bedtime story time. <laughs> Wait, who am I kidding? Of course I won't. There once was a baboon. Wait, which one is the baboon? Is that the one with the anima bulb shaped nose? No, that's the proboscis monkey. Baboon got the big red booty. Uh, I don't know. Both are pretty cool. Let's say it's a proboscis baboon. Ah, he looks so silly. So this proboscis baboon was peacefully doing proboscis baboon stuff when suddenly... Jigglypuff. He finds a lamp. What a beautiful thingy. He thinks, because he doesn't know what a lamp is, and he does what any proboscis baboon would do when facing an unknown thingy. He rubs it against his ass, and now, obvious, a genius comes out. Hi, proboscis baboon, I'm the genius of the thingy. Say what wish, and I will grant it. I don't want to be a fucking thing anymore. What would you like to be, then? I would like to be strong, very strong. So strong that a lion wouldn't even dare attacking me. I also want to be useful to humans, like bees or cows. But most of all, I'm sick of being alone. I want to live in a pack or something. But without any queen or leader to boss me around, we should all be equal. Fine, says the genius. Genie? Is it supposed to be a genie? And he turns to the proboscis baboon, 
to a Gloucester country housework. The end. Good night. Saturday. Where's the hash? Monday? Time flies. I should call Raja. Oh wait, Raja's on vacation. Shit, 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 shit. Amy? Amy? Have you got anything to smoke by any chance? Amy? Shut the fuck up, I'm sleeping. Well, lucky you. Looks like I got no choice. Let's just go to fucking sleep. Don't panic. Everything's gonna be fine. I can get, get through this. Sleeping is easy. Most people manage to do it without smoking anything. And I'm better than them. Let's just skip to the bedtime story. Uh, and then, uh... Something... Adventure, actions, uh, crap, this isn't going to work. Sunday. Wow, Chloe, that early. I must be dreaming. Yoda, yoda, yoda. You could have whipped something on. Well, I wasn't expecting you. I just got out of the shower. So what do I owe the honor of your presence? A pee emergency? I had the worst night ever. Oh. Sorry. I dreamt of mom and dad. Mm. Why don't you enjoy this breakfast with me? I don't eat breakfast. You don't eat breakfast because you always get up at noon. It's eight. You should give it a try. I made some orange juice. Where should we start? How do I make breakfast? Oh, Christ. What do I do? Ew, what was that? <clears throat> Butter. on here probably right this is, I did not see this coming oh man this is lots of breakfast why is this a bowl of brown something what is this bowl of I don't know this is quite forced I don't want to eat this much Making breakfast correctly. Excellent. There we go. All good. Oh god, no breakfast. All done. Ugh, that's rough. All good. We're done. Hey, don't you feel better? The ritual isn't bad. <laughs> you like the rituals? I'm not talking about breakfast. I'm talking about having breakfast with you on Sundays. Let's have a ritual of it. Bacon? Oh no, it's definitely story time. Tell me a story because it's Sunday morning. Now the kid. I don't know any good stories. Please. Once upon a time, awesome. 
Well, thanks for joining me for Sister's Little Helper by PRC. Uh, just a little independent thing. Uh, this is what happens when real people get to make their art that they want to make. So, you know, that's awesome. <laughs> Amazing sound. Uh, but thanks for that weird experience. Uh, we'll see you next time.